In this video, you will learn how to make a banner using Panzoid. So the th first thing you're going to do is go on to panzoid.com and you're going to click on Backgrounder 3. And we're going to choose one of the templates that's already existing for us. So let's say I wanted this one. You click on it, it'll adjust itself. And now the only other things I really need to worry about is my text and my images. So Sprite 1 right now, if I click on it, is the word Panzoid. So I want to make this my name. Okay, and once I click out of it, I'll see that it adjusts. If I scroll down on the sidebar, then I'd be able to see the different types of text that are available to me and I can change my text. So let's try this one. Maybe I prefer Birmingham. And then you can see there's countless options for me to choose. And then once I pick my text background, I can change the color by clicking on this little color box, click on it again. Uh, maybe I'd go for like a yellow to have it pop, hit OK. And I can make it as bright or as non-bright as I want and I can add different colors here. So if I add some maybe green, it'll kind of do this gradient effect and it'll bleed into each other. You can also change the size. So I like the size right now, but if I wanted to change the size, I could go to font size and make this either bigger or smaller. So that way I fill this whole area here. And I can turn the borders on if I want and add some kind of outline as well. If I adjust the thickness, you can see that the border that's been turned on in this gray color, I could change it, maybe make it red, and then you'd be able to see it better. And I can play around with the thickness there as well for my borders. Once I'm happy with it, if I wanted to add more text, I would hit this T. If I wanted to add an image, I would first go to the internet and save my image. And then once I've done that, which I've already done, I would click on the little mountain, click on Sprite 2. And if I wanted to add an image, I would scroll up, make sure it says File. I would do Select. Go into my downloads, I'd find my image. In this case, I'm going to add the image of Mario. Hit open. You can see that it's underlaid. If I pull this and then grab this, I can play around with this with where it is located. If I click back on Sprite 2 and I want to make it bigger, I can come down to I believe where it says scale. And if I increase my X, can also increase my Y to make sure it stays proportional. Maybe I want it a little bigger. And then I can move my image around to where I would like it and continue to add sprites of either text or images. If you wanted to layer them, you'd play around in layer one and layer two. Once you're done, let's say you're happy with your image, you're gonna click on download your background. You click download again. It's going to start your download and it's going to drop into your downloads, which you will then be able to access on your Weebly accounts and upload into the banner heading.